Elbow way back, push that shoulder away. Good. That's it, one more circle, and then you're going to go down the corner line, and you're gonna leg yield in the canter, away from the right leg. Good, upper body stays back. Feel like you take those hips and they go in front of your shoulders. Seat goes down and forward. That's okay, turn right. Organize, we come back. She was like, what are you doing? Wrong answer, she said. Good, now find your balance again. Upper body really nice and tall, a little bit short of that right rein. Back to your sitting. Doesn't matter, just wait it out. That's it, upper body way back, way back. Right elbow back more. Get that bend around that inside leg. Good. And then left leg swings back and she goes. Do it. Good. And then down your quarter line. Good. And then step into the right, push her over. Still have a wiggle of the left fingers. You got it. That's okay. Not quite so quickly sideways next time. Let it be a little bit more like a long and slow. Bend her a little bit more. Good, slow, and over, slow, slow. Now turn for a 15 meter circle. Good, little catch into the left fingers and then soft, try not to get rigid in your elbows. Remember, the more you pull back against her, the more she tries to brace and go forward. Okay. That's it. Again. Yep, one more. Take, take twice as long though to get sideways. Okay. Over, up. Up one, over one, up one, over one, there. You don't want to throw her totally off balance to where she can't keep the three beats. Good, do your counter canter loop. That's it, stay forward with the right leg, back with the left leg, down in the left seat. Good, that's it. And then a trot transition and immediately she bends right and pushes those shoulders away, super. From the right side, turn for a small circle, step into that right stirrup. Bender, you got it. So I want you to be really, she's like, walk, please. I want you to be really careful that she's not getting stagnant and stuck in one spot all the time. Okay. That you can bend her more, you can put more, you know, buttons in there. That's a girl. Good. Because she's not falling through her outside shoulder. No. Good, and then a 20 meter circle and ask her for a little bit of stretchy trot. Good. So you're going to just let the rain slide out of your hands a little bit. Good. Kind of test it out. That's it. And then give a little more. Good. Little wiggle of that outside rain, but you keep the right bend and then float it forward. Good. Then give again. Really let the reins go through your hands. Trust her. She's fine. That's it. Left, left, and then soft again. Not rooting, though. Keep your weight down in your right foot. You got it. Good girl. And then go ahead and shorten the reins back up again and bring it all back together. Leg goes on first. Okay, yep, you're coming back to me. Upper body comes back a little bit, grows a little taller. Feel like you put her weight back together over those hind legs. That's it, because we don't want her to go on her forehand on that, but naturally, because you're kind of concentrating on that out and down, good, yeah. now let her be a little straighter. Good. And then over your long side somewhere up there, you can go ahead for a walk transition. Very nice. And then once she's nice in the walk, then you give her her head. Been trying.